we're here to talk about how to set up a works cited page in MLA format. As you guys already know, I like to use the website citationmachine.net. Of course, since we're using MLA format, we need to choose our style, which is MLA. Now there have been some changes that have been made to MLA format. There is currently the eighth edition to cite in eighth edition here. They have an option. The first we're going to go through a couple different sources. The first one that we're going to look at is the article we may have read in class already, or we will read in class called what it takes to be great by Jeffrey Colvin. Now this is an article, so we will cite it as such, but the important thing to note is we're reading it off an archive. If you go down here to the bottom, it was originally from an issue of Fortune magazine, so we need to cite it from the actual magazine, not as an internet source, which you guys need to be careful with. You have to know where these came from originally so that you're citing it correctly. So we're going to go ahead and take the title, what it takes to be great. We're going to go here and we're going to go to magazine since it is a magazine article. We're going to go ahead and paste it, what it takes to be great, and search magazine articles. As you can see, nothing really comes up for what it takes to be great. So we're going to go ahead down here and or up here and choose manual entry mode. Our title of the article is what it takes to be great. The author is Jeffrey Colvin. The magazine title is Fortune. We don't know the volume and issue, but if we go down here, it says from a 2006 issue, and we go here, it says volume 154, number 9. So we're going to go 154 and number 9 for the issue. The date it was originally published was October 30th, 2020, or 2006. So we're going to go with the day, October 30th. And we're going to write 2006. Pages start and end. Unfortunately, we do not have that necessarily. Um, you don't necessarily need that. It would be good for citation purposes because if we go here, it just takes us to this article and it doesn't say what pages it ran from. And that's it. So we're going to go ahead and press create. As you can see, now we have Jeffrey Colvin, what it takes to be great, Fortune 30th. October 2026. It's already creating the citation for us for our works cited page. So since we're done with that one, we're going to close out of this. The next thing we may have looked at is we may have done a research paper and you may have chosen Abraham Lincoln to do your research paper on. So we've got some simple information from history.com. Of course, this is a web page. So we're going to copy it. We're going to go over here, choose the option, go to website. We're going to paste and we're going to search and it already comes up for us. Now we have to be careful because some things are going to fill out for us and some things are not. So we need to go through and make sure we fill out every single step. Abraham Lincoln, there was no contributor. As you can see, this is just owned by history.com. There is no author here. Um, it's the website itself. You can't find any certain, you know, person. So we're going to go ahead and take these words out because they were copied from there. The website title history.com publisher, a and &E television networks, a electronically published in 2009. Uh, we don't really see where it's getting that information from of it being 2009, uh, but we can leave that there as it's pulling it from the site. So it may be pulling it from when this page was originally created. And it has our date access. So we're gonna go ahead and press create citation again. The next thing we're gonna look at is a book. Say that we wanted some more in-depth uh, understanding of Abraham Lincoln. So we got the life and writings of Abraham Lincoln by himself. This is also what would be known as a primary source. We're going to go ahead and choose book. We're going to paste that out. Um, we're going to take this modern library, see what comes up. So Abraham Lincoln, the life and writings of Abraham Lincoln by Abraham Lincoln and Philip Stern. Perfect. Uh, we chose that. So we're going to go through. We need to make sure all of them filled out. So they have both of them. There's no volume in addition because it's just a single book. Modern Library in New York 2000. Perfect. Create citation. Now we're going to get into some sources that are a little bit different um, that for you guys you may have not, you may be more prone to use because they're more electronic based. 
but at the same time it's also going to be good to see how to cite them so the first is this video just it's a compilation video of will smith talking about what he believes greatness is and, and it has multiple interviews but it was edited by this person's youtube jason west so we're going to qualify this as a, a a video which we qualify as also film so it already has search for URL, so we know we can do that. So we're going to go ahead and copy the URL. Go here and search it. Already comes up. Perfect. Now the film, t so you, as you can see, this is an instance where not everything's filled out. It did give us the information URL, who published all that information. But it doesn't have the film title. So we know that it's called Motivation, Success, and Greatness. So we can just copy and paste that. The main performers would be Will Smith, since it is mostly interviews from him now Jason West isn't necessarily a director I would call him more of a producer because he put it together so we're gonna go ahead and put his first name down and then we're gonna go ahead and put his last name down we're gonna create the citation and now we have four different citations we got two more to go to so now we're gonna look at something that was originally a documentary on PBS called the making of a president so Lincoln the making of a president 1860 so we're going to copy that. Now, this is a documentary, but it is not a film. It was originally on television itself, so we're not going to choose film. What we're going to do is go here to Other. Other has all the other sources that you may use. Now, these are your six most common book, magazine, newspaper, website, journal, and film. But there's a lot of other ones available. So we're going to come down here to television and radio because this was a television. Now, it doesn't have something where we can search. We have to fill this out ourselves. So this was, this was a single broadcast. Over here we have the information from Rotten Tomatoes about it. Um, it was in two parts, two episodes, but it was only a single broadcast. It's not in a series. It wasn't like a series of shows that cover a bunch of presidents. This one's specifically about Lincoln. So the episode title, as we know, was called Lincoln, the Making of a President, 1860. It's also reiterated here. Um, we're going to shorten it down to Lincoln, the Making of a President and cut out the years. This was television, um, citing a full source because we watched it. Uh, now we have contributors. We're looking for writers. Um, now this information to get writers would be a little bit harder. Uh, so we don't necessarily have that. It, it was directed by Peter Coonhard. So what we're going to do is we're going to choose director. And we're going to write down his name. If you were covering something else, like a different TV show, you could, of course, actually have the writer. I'm going to copy and paste the last name because it's a little difficult. Now, the program title was called Linky Making of a President, but since we already have the show and episode title, it's fine. This is for sometimes for radio. Uh, the network we know is PBS, the public broadcasting system. Uh, the date aired we also have right here is... January 13th, 1993. So we're going to go ahead and put 13th, right here, January, and put 1993. Okay. Uh, city and state we don't necessarily need because it, it that is more for radio, not for television. And medium, once again, is television. So we're going to go ahead and press create. And you have Lincoln, the making of president, Coonhard Peter, director, PBS, 13th, January, 1993. Now, you may be looking at this being like, this is good and great, but... Now, how do I make this into a works cited page? I have all these sources and they may not even be in the correct format. So all we have to really do is copy and paste these to a pre-existing document. As you can see here, I have my existing document in MLA format and I have created my works cited page. I'm gonna go ahead and press enter. I'm gonna open up the format tab and go to left alignment because you want these to be left aligned. They luckily already put these in alphabetical order for us so we just have to copy and paste in order now we could fix each one as we go but we're going to do that at the very end all right as you can see we have put all of the sources on here but it is not in mla format i recommend that we put all our sources down first so we can fix mla format all at one time so first thing i'm going to do is is copy all of these and i'm going to essentially make them into mla format now we could fix the character styles because there's multiple and press none. But as you can see, we still have these backgrounds to what's here and we wanna take that away. So the easiest way in my opinion to do that if you are using a Mac is to go to the paragraph style up here, 
and just choose body. It's going to change it. As you can see, all the writing is gone, but we still need to put it in MLA format itself. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to choose Times New Roman. We're going to go down here and choose 12. And then we're going to go down here to spacing, go all the way up to two. Okay. Now we have all of our sources done. They're in alphabetical order and they're great, but there's one thing we are missing. Remember, in a works cited page, we need to do reverse indentation. That means any source that goes over one line has to be indented from line two and so on. So Abraham Lincoln, this source, of course, goes over one line. So we're gonna press tab. Now we know that this is a document and it is underlined, but we're gonna take the underlining off so it looks the same. This is all one line. This is all one line, so we don't have to do anything here. Here we just press tab twice. And here once again we have a YouTube thing that's cut off. So there's two ways you can do this generally. If you want the YouTube to be the link to be all on one line, uh, we see how we split it up here. You can also press enter oops and press tab and then that way you have the URL all in one space, which is an option. You don't have to do that. But this is how to set up an MLA formatted works cited document. I hope you guys find some use in the video. It will always be on the page, along with all the other sources on how to set up MLA formatting, how to set up a work cited page, and also for annotated bibliography for those of you that may be doing a history day project this year.